All six engines on the Starship 24 prototype were successfully fired up during SpaceX's initial static fire test. This comes after successfully testing the Ultra Heavy Booster 7 prototypes, but the testing is far from over. SpaceX is preparing to conduct its first ever orbital flight test and is committed to doing it before the end of the year. Welcome back to another exciting video from Informative Scoop. Today's video is about Elon Musk revealed first static fire lifted 300 tons Raptor engines will change everything. Before we start the video, please like subscribe and press the bell icon. The first orbital mission has a lot on the line, can SpaceX succeed? As it advances one step closer to Mars dwelling, SpaceX sees the success of the static fire as follows. In a dramatic test, SpaceX ignited Ship 24's engines, setting the surrounding area on fire. The static fire 6 engine test produced 1,380 tons of thrust over 8 seconds. It is now one of the most extended static fire tests that Starbay has ever conducted. Due to the Raptor 2 engine's upgrades, before the static fire testing, Ship 24 underwent 7 prime spin tests. With the testing of its second probable orbital class prototype, SpaceX seems a little less cautious. Compared to the six engines on Ship 24, its earlier prototype, Ship 20, only had four engines fitted for its static test. Additionally, it took the boat 23 weeks to engage in its first static firing on all six. The Ship 24 required less time, however. For the static fire test, Booster 7 with 33 Raptor 2 engines was also launched. But only one Raptor engine was burned for a brief period so that engineers could assess the engine's performance at full power. For the upcoming wet dress rehearsal space, X will need to load the accelerator with 3,400 tons of fuel, or 7.5 million pounds. The very heavy accelerator burns 25 tons of energy each second. Since a previous effort in July ended in a detonation just a few seconds into the test, the booster testing has been eagerly anticipated. As a result, several changes were made, including reworking the engine chill-down operations. Methane is used in the present chill-down system, where it is collected and dumped far from the oil LM in a new pipe system. This system may or may not continue to exist at this time, but for the time being, it offers security. SpaceX must carry out more prolonged testing. The static fire was largely successful, but the prototype had several problems. As a result, of the test's pressure, 30 TPS tiles fell off. However, because the car is grounded during static fire testing, the vibrations from the technique force the tires to disengage from their pin sockets and drop away. The solid rocket booster activation shock also causes the orbiter's app to lose some tiles. This was related to an error in estimating the amount of water dilution required for the SRP sound suppression. This achievement comes after the Texas facility Polka Chica's prototype went up in flames. The engine spin start test is what caused the explosion. Elon Musk and SpaceX have conducted before, stating that, to avoid the same problem, the business would not run another spin test using all 33 engines at once. To install further blast shielding and safeguard the building's interior from static fire, 50 more employees were employed. Elon Musk also claims that Booster 7 was returned to the Starbase for robustness enhancements. Additionally, Booster 8 will be brought out to the launch pad. Starship 24 had one of its Raptor vacuum engines replaced, presumably due to problems that cropped up during the static testing. Due to its relationship to the solid rocket booster, work is being done to update the water deluge system. A wet dress rehearsal, often known as a WD war, will be the possible Ship 24 partner's next significant test to ascertain the launch system's readiness. For those unaware, the wet dress rehearsal simulates the complete launch procedure without using actual eye. They are getting ready for the inaugural orbital trip. The orbital flight pair of Starship 24 and Booster 7 is moving along at SpaceX. According to the information provided, SpaceX aims to use the orbital mission to collect data to learn more about the spacecraft's experiences, incredibly challenging to accurately model or simulate digitally. The information will be used to inform potential system modifications and help create better simulation models in the future during launch. Major construction at the Starship Florida launch site is nearly finished in Florida, and preparations are also being made for the vehicles that will be utilized in upcoming launches. Building work in the shop. The final portion of the ship launch tower is being installed while the launch complex 39 is still being established. The ship's rapid detachment and the carriage system launch sticks. Any moment now, the arm might be rolled out to the pad. The first orbital flight test was supposed to take place in July, but there were a few problems, like the FAA violation. Elon Musk plans to conduct the first test by the end of the year or by the summer of 2023 after the successful completion of the static fire testing. Suppose there is an additional delay. A Starship upper stage will be placed atop a heavy booster for this initial test, most likely the rocket. At 7.169 seconds into the flight, the champion will shut down, make a partial return, and splash down 20 miles off the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. Five seconds after the upper half separates, its engines will fire up and pass over Florida. Following its planned course, the spacecraft will conduct a precise landing 62 miles off the Hawaiian island of Kauai after entering orbit. 
the entire procedure should take no more than 90 minutes, and the upper stage is predicted to orbit the planet only partially before landing. For the orbital, two boosters and starships will be ready, at least twice every two months, with total stack production. Preventing the upper stage from exploding as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere presents the biggest challenge of orbital flight. A significant setback and a chance for the business to learn as they attempted to adjust if the rocket disintegrated during the first orbital test. The success of re-entry and orbital insertion will also impact NASA Artemis. The Starship rocket is necessary for it. Because of this, SpaceX is creating a heat shield or thermal protection system to shelter the rocket's belly during re-entry, exposing the hexagonal-shaped tiles to temperatures as high as 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Concerned for the environment, the Office of Commercial Space Transportation of the Federal Aviation Administration must grant permission for the orbital test to be conducted. The environmental evaluation of the Starship launch operations from Boca Chica, Texas, is a requirement for this license. Present-day Starbase this excludes the initial environmental impact assessment that SpaceX published while getting ready to conduct launch operations using Falcon Heavy vehicles. This is done to ensure that the launch operations won't seriously harm the locals' environment or quality of life. The neighborhood of Boca Chica has put up with a rocket manufacturer living just next door. Community members are left wondering about its effects on them as their actions grow more obtrusive. The fire brought on by the Starship 24's static fire testing only fueled the community's already mounting worries. Some others argue that SpaceX failed to take the proper steps to stop the fire from spreading to the nearby wildlife sanctuary. The company used concrete, high temperatures, and spray nozzles to control the situation. They only involved the neighborhood firefighters. A little while later, the fiery debris even made it to the SpaceX dumpster in the east, where the contents immediately caught fire and blazed for several hours. Additionally, not helping is State Route 4. During SpaceX operations, the only access road to and from the area is frequently blocked. It is also preventing access to the shore. The FAA has permitted SpaceX to continue creating and testing Starship vehicles, but they must take precautions to lessen their environmental impact. To shorten the length of the punishment, the corporation must fix its 75 violations and give more notice before launches. 4 is complete. Before receiving a license to conduct launch operations, SpaceX must also satisfy FAA risk, safety, and financial responsibility standards. After receiving the request, we anticipate seeing SpaceX get busy and launch Starship 24 into orbit for the first time. Do you believe Elon Musk and SpaceX will complete the first orbital flight this year? That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.